What is up, everybody? Welcome to an unboxing video of the Binding of Isaac Four Souls, which if you don't know what the Binding of Isaac Four Souls is, it is Edmund McMillan, the guy who created Isaac. Uh, he made a board game, and recently, as of the past year or so, I've been actually really into board games, playing with my friends, uh, basically, on a weekly timeline every Tuesday, so... Yeah, it came at the perfect time for me personally, and uh, as you guys know, I used to post a ton of Isaac on this channel. I haven't really been playing Isaac recently, but that does not diminish the love I have for the video game. Um, I did over a couple hundred episodes here on the YouTube, and uh, I mainly stream now anyway on twitch.tv slash wolves on my door. Um, haven't really been playing much Isaac uh, uh, the game, but I will be reopening Isaac when they come out with that last expansion. Um... Yeah, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I want to get into this. And I think I got the hoarder tier. Uh, I just received this package today, which uh, for reference is Wednesday, November 28th. Uh, I was one of the first to back it on Kickstarter. I don't know if that matters. I don't think it does. But uh, yeah, just received it today. And I do live in New Jersey. I know there's so many questions going around like, where do you live? My package hasn't been sent yet. When can I expect it and all that stuff. So in New Jersey, November 28th, received it. Quarter package. Here we go. Um, first thing off the bat is I already see uh, a bit of an error here, which is the shirt, which the shirt is, is cool and all. But there's actually two errors here. This literally says medium on the package, and then the shirt is an XL. And here's the thing. Uh, I got a large. <laughs> I got a large. So they weren't right on the, the plastic and they weren't right on the, the shirt actual size. So I got a large but received an XL in a medium in a medium bag. So that's a bit of an L. If you have a large shirt and want an XL, let me know because we could just trade them. Uh, that seems like a good plan, good idea. <laughs> Um, anyway, so that's the shirt. I guess I could show you the shirt. I just don't want to open it. Uh, I don't want to open it because of what I just said. Um, if somebody has a large, let me know. And we could trade them. It looks like it's Mega Satan and Isaac. Uh, the design's online. I'm sure you guys can find the design somewhere online. Uh, next up is this thing. Which I believe is the uncut card sheets. Uh, basically when they make the game they print all the cards on one sheet and then a machine comes along and slices them all up um, I know Magic the Gathering has something like this where people uh, are really into like the uncut card sheets I don't know much about it but I figured hey I got the hoarder for the action figures or the uh, statues whatever you want to call them um, but this is the uncut poster thing Let's see what it's all about. Unraveling it. Oh, oh yeah. There's also a there's also a poster in here of some sort, like an art print. Oh, that smells very interesting. Um, there's like a plastic, like a plastic protector on it, which we will reveal. Wow. Holy shit. That's actually really, really nice quality. Uh, this looks like something I should get framed, um, and put up on the wall. This is actually really sick. I don't know who did this art. It just says Pop Life, uh, McMillan Games. Yeah, it doesn't say who did it, but really, really well done. Beautiful color. Like, I hope this is popping off the camera as much as it is IRL, because it looks amazing. And uh, definitely going to get that framed and put up on the wall. Um, I don't know what size that was. Maybe like 11 by 17. I don't know. Um, all right. And now here's the card sheets. Which it looks like... Is there multiple sheets? I would assume. So basically, like I said, this is the card sheets before they get cut. Um, I think there's a stack here of a couple. Because right here is definitely not 400 cards. Um, but awesome. Uh, the card art is amazing. Uh, I can't, like, I'm not gonna play a g the game in this video, which is unfortunate, because I can't wait to play it. But you need friends to play it, and I have no friends. Um, at the current moment in my room. But, um, yeah, this looks awesome. This looks really sick. 
like I said, I think there's multiple. And then the backs of the cards, I guess, would go along with whatever it is. Like, these look like boss, backs of boss cards, maybe? Um, or maybe they're all bosses. No, they're not. There's curses in here. Yeah, they're not. There's a bunch of bosses here. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to take it out of the plastic at the moment, but yeah, that's basically it. It looks like there's at least two of these sheets, which is also awesome. I would like to get that framed as well. Um, and this is the play mat. This is very heavy. Four player play mat. Four player play mat. Let's open this one. Let's open this one because I'm going to open it eventually. All right, here we go. It looks like there's two of these. Here's the play mat. Um, really nice quality. It feels exactly like a mouse pad. It's just like not as thick as my mouse pad. Maybe as thick as some people's mouse pads, but um, yeah, there it is. Uh, you got your heart containers there, uh, a place to put your deck. Uh, and then the middle board is probably where like all the dungeon stuff goes, like the middle board right here going across. Uh, there's one player, two players, and there's a whole nother one of these. It's basically the same exact thing. Uh, just to make it four players, you got the Binding of Isaac classic flies on there and a spider. Uh, really cool. Again, I, like, really actually shocked by how high quality this stuff is. I don't know why, and that's no shots at, like, Edmund or anything like that. But, like, I don't know. I just thought it was, like, a Kickstarter, like, Edmund wanted to make this game, so, like... He's just gonna make it. Uh, but it's all like really professionally done, very high quality and uh, really cool so far. Um, okay, here's what I'm most excited about. This is the four figure pack. Uh, I think there was more, maybe at a higher tier or it was a stretch goal or something. I don't know. I don't know. I bet like I backed it within, within like a day of it popping up. <clears throat> And I followed some of the stretch goals, but not all of them. So I'm not super educated on the Kickstarter and everything that happened during it. I did follow along, but that was also a long time ago. All right, here we go. Four figure pack comes in this nice little uh, box that holds all four of them separately. They come out separately. Uh, we got Kane. We got Judas, of course. We got Isaac. The man himself and then we got Maggie like this is also nice that they all have like a little a little spot um, yeah here's a little shot at the boxes we got the Maggie on front and we got some drawings on the side and on the back just says the binding of Isaac four souls we should pop one of these open let's pop open the you know what out of all these characters I think Judas is my favorite so let's pop open the Judas <clears throat> Let's do that. I don't think I'm gonna like keep them in the box or preserve the box or anything They don't have like a display window like a pop vinyl would or something. So well, That's usually a make or break for me. Like I keep some of my pops in the box. Not all of them, but um, If it doesn't have a display window, it's like eh, why? Why keep it in the box? Okay, we got like the black plastic bag for like mystery items You know how like those they have those mystery things Oh, snap. Okay, this is way smaller than I thought. Just first initial reaction, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. In my opinion, pop vinyls, I'm just referencing them because they seem like the most popular toy right now. Oh, or, or statue slash figure. I always thought pop vinyls were slightly too big because they're, they're so simplified, right? But this is actually really cool. Like, really well done. Uh, really nice art. Unfortunately, I don't have autofocus on. I have manual focus, so bringing up the, uh, the figure is not gonna do much. It's actually more beneficial if I hold it back here. But yeah, holding the, uh, the Bible. <clears throat> really awesome figure. Um, or the Book of Belial. Did I say the Bible? Oh god, oh god. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> so here's the granddaddy of them all. The actual game. Um, let's crack into this. I, I'm trying to think if the, yeah, this is it, right? This is it. This is all I get as a hoarder. The hoarder package. Um, okay, alright. Get the chest out of here. And there it is. 
got a nice little gold vinyl on the on the chest there which is awesome it says first edition up here with a little isaac face which you know stuff like that i'm into i'm all i'm all about that stuff um where they're gonna be releasing this uh in the coming weeks for the public but the fact that we got the first edition box you know that's all that matters uh we got a preview of some of the cards down here isaac satan book of belial um and some pills the official binding of isaac multiplayer card game about sacrifice betrayal and hoarding inspired by the hit video game binding of isaac created by edmund edmund mcmillan uh 30 minutes to one hour play time players two to four ages 13 plus we got some uh classic isaac drawings here on the front and uh the title right there on the top of the box we also have isaac creeping his eye outside the back of the chest which is pretty cool and a drawing of mom a post-it of mom because why not all right let me crack into this and i'll be right back all right here we go plastic off the game opens like this okay it's a little tough there we go all right and inside we see the instructions of how to play right off the get-go um it also shows you how to lay out the mats which is really nice um and yeah basic how to play some some information about the cards and such uh i don't know what this is oh this is this is a filler for extra cards that might be coming down the line which is a great idea. It's a great idea. Um, let's see here. Oh, we got the uh, Garbage Pail Kids Isaac post or, um, postcard. The barbecuing of Isaac, which is awesome. Again, you could probably find this art online, and I apologize, but it's it's uh, it's reminiscent of Garbage Pail Kids mixed with Isaac, which is cool. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of empty space in this box, about this much empty space to be exact. So I would think Edmund's already thinking of expansions. I think he said he already has one done, uh, which is insane, but that's Edmund for you. Um, <clears throat> we got a Isaac Stain glass sticker. I think it's a sticker. It's a really cool sticker. Might fit perfectly on the back of someone's phone, which could, could make for a really cool case. Uh, these stickers very reminiscent of the stickers that came with the Nintendo Switch version, uh, but they are mimicking these characters in these boxes. Uh, basically, same pose and everything. So basically, just stickers of the figures. Uh, but they have like the same vibe as like the Nintendo Switch stickers, close to the same size as well. That's cool. Some more stickers, cause why not? Um, and then we got some cards. We got some treasure cards here. Uh, on the back, we see Holy Mantle. If a player would die, prevent death and end that player's turn. Eternal. This item can, can't can be stolen or sacrificed. Interesting. Holy Mantle. We got more uh, treasure cards. On the back is the Relic. When anyone rolls a one, loot one. Okay, there you go. The Relic. Uh, and then we have some more cards up front here, which I think is character cards and character starting items yep yeah so we have some character cards here backing uh isaac right there and then we have soul of greed the first player to have 25 cents or more gains this soul uh the idea of the game is to get four souls and win uh this will grant you a soul basically these are probably all the soul cards i'm assuming and then like i said the starting items for some of the characters here we have the D6 that is showing, uh, which would be Isaac starting uh, item. Force a player to re-roll any dice roll. Eternal, this item cannot be stolen or destroyed. Isaac starts with two HP, one attack. Uh, play an additional loot card this turn. So he could play an additional loot card every turn. He starts with the D6. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so some character cards and the starting items. And then moving on down the box, we have uh monsters i would believe just like enemies not not bosses uh it is showing dip here on the back uh dip has for instance one hp uh you need to roll a four plus uh and his attack is one interesting yeah i mean i don't know much about the game i've never played it i'm i'm i 
kind of get the gist of it from some of the cards, but uh, I'm sure it's a whole different beast when you actually play it. Okay, so in here is probably the boss cards as well. It's just not showing on the on the back. Um, it probably goes normal enemies and then boss cards towards the back. But there's that. And then this is all items, I believe. Uh, as you can see, indicated on the back, hearts, coins, pills, and bombs. Uh, showing on the front there is a penny. Gain one cent. Transition. Speaking of cents. We have these really, really cool 50 cent penny rolls that are actually in a penny roll, which is really dope. Um, I guess I'm going to unravel them. They might go everywhere. <laughs> but like the quality of this is just amazing. The cards feel really good too. Granted, they're in uh, the plastic right now. Um, but to wrap these up in like penny rolls is such a smart idea. Let's see here. All right. Oh, wow. These are really cool. They're like plastic. They're like plastic, but like embossed. Like you could feel, you could feel the scent and the, the star on the back. Really cool little pennies here. And if you could hear that, they're like, they're like hard plastic. They're obvious. They're not metal, but they're still cool. All right. And then wrapping this up, we actually have a pin here a pin of isaac which is cool that is gonna go it's actually the bible thump isaac face um which is dope that's gonna go on my backpack for sure got a couple pins on there um and then we have the money bag which is actually perfect because i have an open roll here where i don't want to lose any of these cents so let's pop open the the money bag which in true Isaac fashion has the, the, you know, brown tone to it and the handwritten scent mark, which is awesome. Keeping with the theme of the game. Um, I mean, I could do this later, but again, I don't want to lose any of these. So has he done it? Has he done it? I think he's done it. Oh, he's done it. No, that's gone forever. That's actually gone forever. Um, okay. Anyway. Um, let's just throw this in there. There's two of these, by the way. Two of those. And then, uh, the dice. The freaking dice. We have this red dice, which is your normal six pip. Six pip dice. And then we also have a seven-sided? No, an eight-sided dice. An eight-sided dice right here, which is really cool. It's like a black and red hexagonal thing um so those are your two dice and that's that and the box is empty and i'm assuming everything fits in here pretty well uh but box quality is really good the cardboard seems really sturdy it's not like easily bent or anything which is nice um oh i just realized it turns into it has different art once you lift up the thing here that's not isaac isaac's eye anymore it's like uh it might be the forgotten it looks a little bit like a skeleton um, and then we have the lost, the lost post-it there instead of the mom one, uh, which is cool. I like details like that. That's sick. Um, but yeah, I, I, incredible, incredible. I don't remember how much the hoarder, uh, the hoarder backing was. I think it was like a hundred and something bucks, uh, which for four figures, a pin, a bunch of stickers, a really nice printed poster. The uncut card sheets, like two of them. The whole entire game with the Kickstarter, uh, uh, like extension on it, and a T-shirt, and yeah, I, the the game mat as well. Two big game mats. I I feel very happy with my purchase. Again, the quality of everything just seems really top tier. I can't wait to play this. I don't know. I might be doing a playthrough on my Twitch, uh, at twitch.tv slash wolves at my door. So if you're interested in watching a playthrough, uh, I might be doing that live with my friends, hopefully sometime this week or next week. With the holidays now, it's getting a little crazy, but I hope you guys enjoy this un unboxing. I don't normally do unboxings. I'm sorry I didn't have any like B-roll shots that like slide across the, you know, figures in HD. Uh, I'm just not at that level at this point, but I, I figured let's just open it and see what's inside so you guys can get a good idea of what you're about to receive. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did like the video or don't, I, 
it's fine it's good just i would say follow me over on twitch twitch.tv slash wolves at my door all right guys thank you uh until next time stay safe stay up and peace out